Hello and welcome to Get Creative in the Kitchen. Today's recipe is this delicious creamy Mughalai chicken, which I'm sure you're going to love. It's quick and easy to make, so let's get straight into it. So let's start by marinating our chicken. I've got my salt here, cracked pepper, and chili powder to your taste. Okay, I'm going to set that aside for about half an hour. So let's start making this Mughalai chicken. The oil goes in first and let your oil heat up. Once the oil is heated up, we're going to start with our onions. I have pureed my onions or blended my onions here. That's because I want a nice smooth consistency in my gravy. So we're going to cook our onions well till it changes colour slightly and reduces in quantity. Okay, my onions have been cooking for about four to five minutes and the oil is starting to release on the side. And as you can see, it's also reduced in quantity. So it's time now for my ginger and garlic to go in. In goes the ginger and garlic. Give that a mix for about a couple of minutes till we can smell all the aroma. And I'm not sure you can see but my onions have also changed colour slightly. So this is cooked. It's now time for the marinated chicken to go in. I've used pies here. Mix that through nicely. Now I'm just going to saute this chicken till it changes colour. Okay, my chicken's looking good, and as you can see, it's changed colour. So it's time now for the dry spices to go in, starting with the cumin coriander and turmeric. Let's mix that through. Okay, so I have been stirring this for about two minutes, so my spices are nicely cooked. So here I have some cashew nut paste and I've got some yogurt. That's going to create a nice rich gravy. Let me mix that through. So we're going to give this about two minutes, two to three minutes to cook through. Okay, so this has been cooking for about two to three minutes and you can see the oil separated on the side. Next goes in my tomato puree. Let's give that a mix through. I'm just going to let that cook for about two to three minutes. Okay, so that's been cooking for about two minutes and again you can see the oil nicely released. This smells absolutely delicious. It's a very mild chicken curry and you usually find these in restaurants back in India. So if you're looking for a mild chicken curry with not a lot of spices, this is it. I'm going to add some water. Put the lid on 
and let this cook for about 15 minutes. Okay, this chicken has been cooking for about 15 minutes, so it's time to check on it. Mmm, that's looking good. All right, so my gravy's thickened up nicely. Let's check on the chicken. Yep, that's cooked. All right. Next in goes some chilies to your taste, some garam masala and kasuri methi. Give that a mix through. Now I would like all the spices to be absorbed into the gravy. So I'm going to add just a dash of water, mix it through, and you can adjust the thickness of your gravy by adding water. I'm going to put the lid back on just for two minutes so that all gets absorbed in. Okay, so two minutes are up. Look at that. That looks really yummy. So I'm going to finish it off with some coriander. Now I do have a lot of chicken recipes on my channel, so check them out and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Mix that through. This is beautiful. Yummy. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.